It's only on 12 News, a story not from this world. Recently released conversations involving high-level government officials claim a UFO crashed in Kingman back in 1953, and then the aircraft was seized by the Air Force. Tonight, 12 News journalist Chase Golightly went to Kingman to look into this mystery. We all know about the Phoenix Lights and other sightings here in Arizona. But this case is different. Now, no government entity has confirmed this and likely never will. But what we learned leaves a lot up to the imagination. At the heart of Kingman, Arizona, Route 66. The famous logo seen everywhere you drive, bringing in countless visitors over the decades. But in May of 1953, a different kind of visitor came here to Kingman, and they didn't take Route 66 to get here. They came from the sky, crashing down in the desert in an aircraft not from this world, according to UFO researchers. They have heard rumors about it, yes. A familiar story for those living here. I've had two sightings myself of UFO craft. Because I want to go with them. Others think it's just that, a story. I'm not a believer. But self-proclaimed experts and researchers on the matter say what makes this crash so different is all the research, witness testimony, and even evidence surrounding it. The Kingman crash is definitely in the top five. Author Preston Dennett is one of those researchers. There's just a very small handful of UFO crash retrieval reports in the United States that have that kind of verification to them. So we decided to find that information ourselves. Going to the Mojave Museum of History in Kingman, combing through old newspaper clippings, sketches, and even redacted government documents allegedly detailing the crash from those who were there, including Fritz Werner. We now know him to be Arthur Stansel. The documents claim Stansel was an Air Force engineer who studied the impact nuclear blasts had on homes and buildings. He was one of 40 people transported to the crash scene in a bus with blacked out windows so they wouldn't know where they were. They were told this was part of a secret project. When they arrived, the report claims the UFO, measuring 14 feet high and 30 feet in diameter, was made out of unfamiliar metal, plunged about 20 inches into the ground. And it was his job to basically determine the speed of this object as it came down based upon the gouge it made in the soil. And he estimated it was about 1,200 miles per hour. The craft itself was largely undamaged. Next to the UFO, the corpse of the so-called pilot, who was described as being about four feet tall and wearing a silver metallic suit. Surrounded by military police, the workers conducted their studies in the dead of night. It doesn't say how long they were there, but when they got back on the bus, an Air Force colonel who was in charge of the operation made them take an oath to keep this a secret. 20 years later, Stansel came forward, signing this affidavit, allegedly confirming what he saw. Then 50 years later, another secret about the crash was released by former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for Intelligence, Christopher Mellon, between him and a senior United States government member whose name has been redacted, claiming people would be slack-jawed if word got out about what they know, writing the U.S. government seized the Kingman UFO. These craft are scooped up, taken to various Air Force bases, scientific labs, and studied intensely, intently, to figure out exactly what we can figure out about how they work. Despite the reports and witness accounts, we will never truly know if what happened in Kingman that day is true or not. I don't think our governments are ever going to willingly disclose, really at all. Dennett believes with more people and former government workers releasing classified information, we are getting closer to answers. It's certainly movement. So is there an official statement from the U.S. government about this Kingman crash? I reached out to several of our congressional members and even reached out to the U.S. House Oversight and Accountability Committee, who's actually held hearings on UFOs and aliens. But the spokesperson told me they have no comment on this crash. We're in Phoenix. Chase Cole Whiteley, 12 News. Chase, thanks. Still